So, hello everyone, welcome to this video series on Cold Fusion Primer. First, I'll be showing you how to set up Cold Fusion and how to use the SAM server along with this Cold Fusion. We'll be using the Cold Fusion Developer Edition because the Developer Edition is free and the other standard editions and the Enterprise Editions are uh, expensive to buy. Be but because we'll be trying out our development process we'll be learning cold fusion in this entire video series so we'll be using the developer edition i'll be showing you how to install this cold fusion adobe cold fusion 11 in using the uh zam server 1.8.2 and i'll be showing you how to use an editor that will be running a cold fusion plugin which will be used to write our cold fusion codes there are several kinds of editors one of them is the my clips the flex builder the dream weaver and the notepad plus plus but all of them require two sorts of plugins first one for enabling cold fusion and the other is a library plugin used for connecting the SQL server with the editor I'll be showing you you how to deal with all of them and I'll also show you some of the post installation issues that will be running over so let's first see how to download the cold fusion software from Adobe's uh, website so here we are now in the download page in adobe.com the cold fusion download page and you will see if you scroll down you'll see this cold fusion 11 developer edition if you if you're confused about this download link i'll be posting that in the des description section so there are two sorts as i've already told you the two types of uh, cold fusion products the first is the developer edition and the other is the trial edition the trial edition consists of the uh, standard and the enterprise edition but because of our development purpose and our practice purpose we'll be using the developer edition which is which comes free so let's click on it and it will prompt us to a login page where we'll be asked to use our credentials to log inside our account if you have an existing account you can use your one but if you really don't have an account it's really easy to create one write your name whatever it is so I'll just pause the video in here and after I've got my credentials registered I'll show you how to work with the download page so now I, I am inside Adobe's download page it will ask you some essential questions fill them up the red the red asterisk ones are important remember that and there are a few more questions they'll also ask you how you'd want to be communicated through email or what and finally when you're done then continue so I'll pause right here after I'm done inputting all of this information I'll show you what's next so I'm now in the next page they'll ask you whether you want to use your currently uh, enter address or you do you want to edit the address you can edit use it anyway it's the same thing and let's wait for a few seconds for the page to load it will prompt us to a new page where it will give us a download link so here we are now inside the download link page you'll see that Adobe has prepared a list for you click on it and choose your version if you're on a Mac choose English and the um, Mac version for it I'm in Windows 7 I'm running Windows 7 32 bit so I'll be using this English Windows that is 544.8 megabyte and click on this download link so now save this file in your computer I've already saved it I've already finished downloading it and you'll be getting a file like this 
an executable file for installing the cold fusion software so after we are done with this download after we are done with this uh, downloading our so cold fusion 11 software we need to move on to downloading our XAMPP I already have downloaded it and it's very very easy to download and install first click on this download it will prompt you to another window then the download actually starts automatically so wait for a few min minutes you guys might be asking why the hell is it important to use cold fusion because cold fusion using cold fusion it's very easy cold fusion works similarly like html although html is markup but cold fusion requires a server to run the tags and syntaxes are very very similar we can run pdfs we can run presentations we can run spreadsheet reports and do many more other things just by using tags cold fusion tags actually looks similar so uh, save this file into your into a folder in inside your computer and the download has already started after the download is complete I'll take you to the installation window so the XAM server download is complete now let's install it it might take some time to open so be patient about it so now here we are in the setup wizard click next choose all these features because the most important features we'll be using is the MySQL and the Apache ones click next again choose your folder where you want to keep it click next again and it will start the setup pro process so on I'll b I won't be going any further with this because I've already downloaded and installed it and then I'll be showing you how to solve a problem if you're running VMware along with this uh, XAMPP server because VMware is actually occupying all the ports that the XAMPP server needs to operate on so after we are done installing our XAMPP server we'll face a problem there will there will be a problem if you're running VMware on your system because the VMware that uses the ports it occupies the ports that the MySQL server wants wants to use so a small solution for that problem is go to your start bar start your task manager and go into services click on services and scroll down to VMware authorization service and stop the service after that start your control panel from the start uh, from the start menu it will then automatically start your Apache and MySQL server so that is it the next thing that we'll be looking at how to install the cold fusion plugin for notepad plus plus and how to also uh, install the the library plugin for notepad plus plus manually now we will be downloading notepad plus plus go to notepad plus plus dot org after the page appears you'll see this button but i'll recommend you to download the notepad plus plus installer after you are finished with your download you'll get a file installer file like this click on it a prompt window comes up choose your language and click ok then click next click i agree choose your path where you want to keep all your folders and files click next again next again and click install i won't be installing this because i already have it so people who are first time installers people who are installing this software for the first time you need to remember that to run this cold fusion 11 uh, you'll have to have uh, microsoft's 
C++ 2012 redistributable package otherwise it won't run and if you don't have Cold Fusion will offer you to download it